Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. This is going to be a message for my beautiful Scorpios. Hi Scorpios, hope you're all one and safe, my beautiful Scorpios. I love you guys so much. Okay, I'm going to be um, getting into your messages for your upcoming energy. Okay, this could be love, this could be finances. Whatever spirit wants you guys to know will come out in your re reading, guys. Okay. Scorpios, I love you guys. Let's get into your messages, my loves. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the white light. Please communicate with me clearly and give me the messages and the energy for my beautiful Scorpios. Okay, what are the messages that you would like for my Scorpios to see, hear, or know at this time, spirits? Thank you. Wow, right away. Scorpios. Okay. Scorpios, somebody's, um, somebody's stuck in their head. Trying to make a decision. Scorpio, this is you. Okay, this could be you. This could be somebody that you're dealing with, Scorpio. But somebody is stuck in their head trying to make a decision moving forward. Okay, because somebody here is dealing with an empress. Okay, Scorpio, this could be you. You could be in an empress energy. You could be um, bossing up. You could be loving yourself. You could be creating new things. You could be wearing your crown. You could be abundant. Some of you, Scorpios, could be expecting a child because the Empress card speaks of fertility, guys. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, but you guys are working on yourselves. You guys are working on your finance. You guys are working on new projects. You guys are working on your pentacles. But you guys are trying to make a decision as well. Now, let's get some further messages regarding this energy, okay? Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Give me the messages for my beautiful Scorpios. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Spirit, guys, and angels. Okay, for the Scorpios. There you go, my loves. <laughs> Coming out right away in your own reading, Scorpio. Okay, so you guys are trying to make a decision. You guys are um, moving forward, putting an end to a certain situation, toxic end of situation that you've been stuck in. Okay, Scorpio. This is you moving away from any toxicity, awakening, having an ego death, transforming. Wow, beautiful. And someone that you're dealing with is also going through the same. Somebody's going through the same. That's what Spirit said. Yeah, yeah. Because you guys just started retreating. You retreated. You pulled back your energy from certain people. You started uh, meditating. You started becoming spiritually wise. You started receiving your messages. You started um, detaching. You went into your hermit phase, Spirit said. Now, Scorpio, you're about to receive a beautiful lump sum of money, a beautiful Ace of Pentacles offer from the universe and from the divine, okay? Because you've been doing your spiritual work, and there you go, Scorpio. This is a, a Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with an Aries, or you could have Aries in your chart, uh, Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be wanting to go forward, move forward towards this beautiful Aries with the, or Sagittarius or Leo um, energy. You could be moving towards this fire sign. Scorpio wanting to give them an offer or there's a fire sign always coming up in your reading Scorpio that wants to come towards you and give you an offer a stable beautiful offer okay nonetheless the offer is being made okay yes there's an offer being made um you could be the one making the offer Scorpios or this could be someone making an offer towards you but we're going to get deeper into your messages and clarify all these cards that just came out Okay, Spirit, so clarify these cards that just came out for Scorpio. Let's clarify these messages, okay? Receive some more answers regarding this energy that's coming towards Scorpio, okay? This fiery energy that's coming towards Scorpio that Scorpio is currently in. Thank you. Beautiful messages for the Scorpios. Give me some clarity for those cards that came out for the uh, for the death card, for the Knight of, of Wands. Who is this Knight of Wands that the Scorpio is dealing with, Spirit? Clarify these messages for me, please, for my beautiful Scorpios. Clarifying the messages for those cards that just came out, Spirits. Thank you. Give me some additional messages and energy for my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. I already told you guys that you've been going into your hermit mode, right? Okay, Scorpio. So this is you 
going into your hermit mode because you want to reflect because you want to you're going through the dark night of the soul you're awakening my loves okay and you have somebody that's watching you okay or you're watching someone you've been inspired by someone scorpio there's a hierophant you've been inspired by someone that's spiritually wise or gifted that's a spiritual teacher or guru you've been gaining a lot of wisdom and knowledge from this person or several people okay and this is helping you get out of your head to make decisions in your life, to move forward and walk away from what no longer serving you. Because like I said, you're gaining the knowledge and the wisdom that you need to gain. Okay, because you you could be dealing with a Virgo, but you're dealing with someone that's a Hierophant, that's spiritual, that got the answers, that knows the secrets of the universe, and they're teaching you something. Okay, and there, there you go. There's a page of swords. Okay, you could be watching someone or someone could be watching you. Okay, I already said you could be dealing with a Virgo, but there's this King of Pentacles. Okay, Scorpio, they're watching you. They're watching you, Scorpio. Okay, they're watching you or you're watching this person. Okay, put the message how it resonates. But there's someone that's spying and watching. Okay, this is you. You could be spying and watching. You could be gaining information. But there's someone that's trying to come towards you. That's a king of pentacles energy, Scorpio, and they're watching you. They're, they're watching your transformation. They're watching the way you change. They're watching you heal. They're watching you become successful. They, they're watching you. Or you're watching somebody. Somebody's watching somebody gaining knowledge and wisdom. Okay? In this situation. Okay? Let's pull a couple more clarifiers. And then, I'm sorry, guys. I'm always shaking the table for my fishy. I don't know what else to do. My table shakes, guys. I gotta get a new table. Okay, spirits and angels. Give me a couple more messages. Thank you. Yeah, somebody wants to make an offer. Somebody's trying to make a stable offer of a relationship, something abundant, Scorpio. Somebody wants to offer you this page of pentacles. You could be offering this to someone, or someone could be offering this to you. Somebody could be younger in this situation. But like I said, somebody's gaining knowledge and wisdom. Somebody's seeking uh, advice from a hair farm person or a spiritual teacher. or so, um, Somebody's gaining information and knowledge, and that's why they wanted to come towards you. This person's been watching you for a while. Okay, Scorpio? Let's get into some further messages with the uh, Starseed Chosen One that can see what Spirit has to give you for this energy that's coming up in your reading, okay? Because somebody's wanting to come forward, somebody's wanting to make an offer, okay? But somebody's thinking about it and stuck in their head and needs to get out of their head to make this offer, okay? Or this is you guys, Scorpio, but you guys are getting the knowledge, you guys are getting the wisdom that you need from spirits and guides, you guys are receiving your intuitive gifts. Yeah, and there's some people... <clears throat> Scorpio, you're dealing with some people that are jealous. They're jealous. They're jealous. They're jealous. That's all I got to say. They're jealous. They don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to reunite with someone. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to have anything good. So you better be aware of the people that you're around right now that are jealous. Okay? Just let it be known that they're jealous. Okay? Yeah. Because they see that you're starting to love yourself. They see you loving yourself. And there's people that are not happy for us when we start to love ourselves. Believe me, let me tell you, they're not on the on the light side of things. They're on the dark side of things. So they're working with dark forces. They're trying to stop your light. They're trying to stop your ascension. They're trying to stop your growth. They're jealous right now because you're loving yourself. So keep that in mind. You know, be, be very aware and protect your energy, okay? Yes, because you loving yourself can't make it up. Self-love is making you more attractive. That's what I'm trying to say. When you detach from these people that weren't valuing you, that were fake, that were um, betraying you, Scorpio, that wasn't real, they had toxic energies, they were trying to keep you stuck and bound to them. Now that you're loving yourself, it's making you more attractive, okay? It's making you more attractive, and it's bringing in your your, your soulmate, it's bringing in somebody that's that that loves you okay scorpio and these are not your friends these people are not happy they're jealous they're trying to make um stop you from going forward towards your person they are not your real friends scorpio okay you guys are about to get financial freedom okay so financial freedom is coming in your situation like i said you're receiving an ace of pentacles from the divine a blessing a miracle of abundance and money and you guys are activating your psychic gifts at this time. If you're not, then you need to be. You need to be meditating. You need to be evolving. You need to be detaching. You need to be doing spiritual baths. You need to be connecting to the divine and wearing your crystals. Because you're about to start getting truth and clarity. And this is coming to you because this is your time to be happy and joyful. Okay? And that's what it's all about. Being happy, joyful, and unconditional love brings us everything um, that we want into our existence, Scorpio. Okay? Now couple more messages and then before we end this reading 
Wow, Scorpio. Wow. Somebody has a bisexual secret. This could be you. This could be someone else. This is a secret that you don't want to tell somebody that you're with, but you need to tell this person because if this person loves you, they're going to love you regardless of what, or this is the other person, how they're feeling. Someone has a bisexual secret and it's best to be honest because um, if someone loves you, they're going to love you regardless. That's what Spirit said. Okay. They're going to accept you and they're going to move forward with you. Okay, Scorpio, so stop being afraid of letting somebody know this bisexual secret or somebody's going to have to let you know about their bisexual secret because you are becoming aware of energies and the person you're dealing with is definitely aware of energies and the person you're dealing with could be a psychic and they can read tarot and they can know things. Okay, so it's not good to hide secrets and this is for you or your person that you're dealing with. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, Scorpio, so I'm going to get some energy from the... Uh, Romance angels, and then I'm going to end this reading. Thank you, spirits, guys, and angels for these beautiful messages for my beautiful Scorpios. Okay, dealing with love, dealing with a soulmate, dealing with, with people they need to leave behind because there's friends that are in the way of this connection. Scorpio, I told you this in the last reading. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, so children could be affecting your love life, guys. You guys could have a child. You guys could have children. And your baby mom, your baby dad is making it hard for you to go towards this person. Release them. Let it go. This person that you're connecting with loves children. And this could be vice versa. Take the message how they resonate, guys. Okay? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring this person and this romance to you. Positive thoughts about this connection. Scorpio, because if you keep telling yourself this connection ain't going to work, it ain't going to work. If you believe that it's going to work, then it's going to work. Because your mind is everything, your thoughts are everything, and they manifest. So you better believe it, because energies are everything. Pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. Yeah, you're starting to realize that you got fake friends, that you got people in the way of your happiness, of your connection with your soulmate. And you're starting to pay attention to the red flags. And that's why, because true love... This is a romance of a lifetime because the person that you want to go towards or the person that's connected to you, your true life soulmate, this is true love. And it's worth making the effort, okay? This is true love, my loves. And trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. Have faith, Scorpio. You have to trust the situation is going to lead to marriage. It's going to need. It's going to lead to a union, and it's going to lead to this because you're taking the steps that you need to take. You're putting your foot down. You're walking away from toxic people, energies, and this is making this love come towards you. This is going to happen, okay, my loves. Keep that in mind. You gotta think positive thoughts for this to actually come towards you. And yes, you need to let your friends help you. Ask and accept help from your friends. Been trying to. If you have friends that are trying to help you detach, if you have friends that are trying to help you get away from certain people, if you have friends that are trying to help you be happy and go towards your real life soulmate, if you have friends that are actually genuine, then let them help you, okay? But you need to detach from the ones that are fake. You need to detach from the ones that are getting in the way of this connection, okay? And this is what I've been telling you. The only way you're going to bring your soulmate into your existence, the only way this is going to happen, Scorpio, you have to have positive thoughts, positive thinking. This is for you guys. You need to believe that this is going to happen. You need to believe that this person is going to love you regardless of your secrets. You need to believe that. And this person needs to do the same. You guys need to come together. You guys need to have like... um. You guys need a um, how am I, how am I called? You need to, You guys are gonna need a compromise, okay? Compromise with each other because you love each other. Work on this relationship, and this is what you're wanting. This is what I'm seeing in the cards, guys. Scorpio is that you guys are not happy with your current situation, and you guys um are not telling someone how you're feeling. You're keeping feelings to yourself because you're thinking this person isn't gonna reciprocate. They're not gonna understand you, and you know what? This person is actually awakening too. So they are going to understand you, Scorpios, okay? So express how you're feeling, my loves, because this um, soulmate is trying to come into your existence. This real-life soulmate is trying to come to you, Scorpio. And I love you guys so much. Keep, keep, um, keep your vibrations high. Keep getting your knowledge. Keep gaining your wisdom. Keep evolving. Keep loving yourself. This is bringing everything to you guys right now as we speak, okay? I love you, Scorpios, to the next reading, to the next messages. Namaste.